This is a no-bake recipe consisting of layers of sponge cake soaked in coffee and brandy, a dessert that will absolutely cheer you up. First things first, we need to make a big batch of espresso or strong coffee. I'm using my mocha pot and I made two big mugs about 500 ml. Set this aside to cool down. The next step, set some water on the hob to start simmering. As we separate six egg whites from the yolks, go for fresh eggs and best are organic eggs. Now place the egg yolks in a medium pot and add 133 grams sugar then whisk together until combined now place this mixture over the pot of simmering water making sure that the water does not touch the bowl we are making a light custard and this will form the base of our tiramisu so take your time and whisk 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 at first it will be a bit runny and then with the time it will start to thicken up and it's light yellow in color at this stage the sugar has dissolved you can test using your fingers i will now set this aside to cool to room temperature now add 500 grams mascarpone cheese to a large bowl this is a must have for a creamy tiramisu then add two tablespoons brandy mix well until everything is nice and smooth it's time to add our custard which is at room temperature at this stage mix until it's completely combined mm, this is so creamy and yummy as it is talk of creaminess it's time to whip some heavy cream up we need 500 ml of cold heavy whipping cream and one tablespoon of vanilla extract Whip until it's on the stiffer side, but do not over whip as it will turn to butter, so keep an eye on it. Next, fold your whipped cream into the custard. We are going to do it slowly until everything is nice and smooth. You still remember our coffee it should be by room temperature by now add two tablespoons or more of brandy which is actually optional so you can leave it out and it will still taste good and start to dip your lady fingers which need just a quick dip about two seconds not this as they will be too soggy and your tiramisu will be too wet okay let's do it again a quick dip Two seconds and place it into your baking dish i will need about 40 lady fingers but my dish is big so that might be different for you the first layer is almost done and i needed more coffee luckily enough i had blued enough so this is my second mug tip make enough coffee you don't want to stop in the middle and you have to wait for your coffee to cool down that will be a bit annoying and once your first layer is set it's time for our creamy mixture add half of it and smoothen it out into a level layer then continue dipping and arranging the second layer of lady fingers once this is done it's time to add the remaining mascarpone filling level it up nicely making sure that you are smoothing out the edges it should look like this and if you got messy like me you can clean it up with a paper towel it's time to put this goodness in the fridge to set up the lady figures will be soft and you will be able to get a nice and clean cut refrigerate overnight or at least for six hours in case you don't like coffee or you would like to enjoy this with your kids replace the coffee with orange juice mine was freshly pressed but you can also take store-bought it's the same process of arranging the lady fingers and layering with the cream again let this chill in the fridge best is overnight 
It's the next day and now we are going to dust a generous amount of cocoa powder. Oops, that sieve was small. I'm going to take a bigger one and to have control of how much cocoa powder is coming out or for you to avoid having lumps, you can add rice or small grains to your cocoa powder so that you can be able to dust your cocoa powder evenly. Uh -huh. This looks perfect. As the kids might find the cocoa powder to be bitter, I will grate some whole milk chocolate to top it up. Now it's time to cut, use a sharp knife. Cut right through. The first one is the most difficult, but we are ready to enjoy. This is just so yummy. And we can't go before we cut our classic tiramisu. Everybody was waiting and it was absolutely delicious. Did you enjoy this recipe? Please hit the like button so that it can spread to more people. Thank you for showing so much love.